what is confluence so this interesting question was asked on the uh, community today and i thought uh, it is really interesting question because uh, first of all it is a very simple question a very basic question what is confluence and uh, second i am feeling a bit uh, bit sad because i have just made one video on this topic where uh, where i talked about uh, confluence now i think it is a very good opportunity and uh, probably a note for me to also keep in mind that i need and i should be making more videos on uh, the topic of uh, confluence so this uh, question was asked on the community uh, today uh, what is confluence and uh, this question was asked by adhin sukhu and the question is actually very 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 simple it's it, it is all about what is confluence what is space now if you look at this question on the community there are some links that will take you to uh, the atlassian uh, portal or uh, atlassian website where you can of course uh, know more about uh, what is confluence but before i talk about uh, the atlassian website and i probably start sharing what atlassian says about uh, confluence let me give you my version of uh, what is confluence so confluence is nothing but uh, an online collaboration tool where you can um, uh, of course to collaboration but uh, it, it is like a wiki uh, where you can have a knowledge base where you can discuss online uh, uh, with your team members about let us say your project you can use confluence in variety of ways so consider confluence uh, as uh, an online place where you can uh, create pages and these pages are basically um, organized into different spaces so in jira in case you in case you are familiar with jira you have issues but those issues are not really you know floating around those issues are part of a project and the way project behaves is something that you define with the help of uh, configurations similarly in confluence you have uh, the option to create page but uh, even before we talk about creating a page we have to first talk about uh, something called as a space so space is basically a container of uh, pages and each space can have its own purpose uh, as compared to jira confluence is definitely much much simpler tool <clears throat> uh, you can have a space and you can have of course pages under those spaces uh, but when when we talk about these uh, pages you have option to use different templates so a page is like the most uh, simple or basic thing that you can do creating a page in confluence but your page can also have a type your page can be a blog your page can be just you know some random article or your page can be um, uh, a, a, a requirement document your page uh, can be uh, an event your page can have uh, maybe an update about uh, an event so your page basically can have any type of content it it is basically a combination of text images or maybe videos and uh, you can have of course different format or different templates for these pages when you are creating a page you have uh, of course the option to use uh, some formatting uh but you can also use some predefined templates when you are creating a page or you can use uh, or you can basically create your own template so for example if you are creating a blog in a blog you just have a title and a body maybe of course you can embed images but there is no structure to it you can have a structure to it but uh, it is more about sharing some update but when you create let us say a product requirement or maybe when you create an event or maybe when you create uh, some specifications that are related to your project or maybe you're creating a design document or maybe you're creating a, a knowledge base so based on the type of the page you're, you're trying to create you can have a different template and that template will actually help you in uh, in making your life easy you can have uh, a template that will uh, uh, be that will basically contain some kind of a layout with some placeholders so if you're creating a product requirement document for your product or maybe for something that you're trying to create you can have different placeholders that you can use easily 
to basically write your own content using, of course, that template. Uh, so as I mentioned before, pages are organized within uh, your space. And uh, just like Jira, you can have uh, permissions, you can have different users. And the best part of uh, about Confluence is that uh, because it is uh, a tool from Atlassian, you can have a very good, amazing integration of Confluence with uh, with the other Atlassian tools, especially Jira. For example, if you're using Jira software, you can use Confluence to keep track of your requirements or maybe you want to keep track of your meeting minutes or maybe you want to keep track of your uh, some discussion. If you're using Jira Service Desk, you can use Confluence to store your knowledge base. And when you're using Jira Service Desk, uh, you uh, want to, to basically expose your articles, your knowledge base articles to your customers, your, uh, I mean, basically the customers who are trying to self-serve themselves on the portal. Uh, so you can have a very good integration there. And uh, when you are uh, using Confluence along with Jira, you have the option to create a report from Jira issues and display the real-time reports in your Confluence. So in short, Confluence is a collaborative online wiki kind of a tool that really works well with uh, Jira and uh, you can create spaces that are nothing but uh, a container of pages. You can have users, you can have permissions on those uh, uh, on those uh, different spaces and pages and just like Jira you have of course the option to enhance the features of uh, Confluence with the help of uh, the apps that you can always download from the marketplace. So let us talk about uh, what Atlassian has to say about Confluence. So I'll show you the uh, the product listing page of, Con of Confluence on Atlassian. So if you go to the Atlassian website, you can go to the products and then you can uh, click on Confluence. And the very first thing that you will read here is Confluence is a document collaboration tool, which is of course true. I'm not really challenging Atlassian here. So uh, let us spend maybe a few minutes on the page here. So it says accomplish more together. Confluence is your team workspace where knowledge and collaboration meet to, uh, to achieve great things. Then you're talk Then they're talking about create, collaborate, organize all your work in one place, create a source of truth, move work forward. You can get a project plan, inspire conversation. So uh, one thing which I didn't mention is that when you create a page, People can, of course, collaborate and uh, they can collaborate by adding a comment. They can collaborate by doing some inline commenting. They can, of course, uh, use Confluence to maybe act as a mini, small, tiny task management system because you can have checklist in Confluence. Uh, and of course, I talked about these templates. So you have templates for different things like uh, support, marketing, product, uh, recruiting, and uh, so on. I mean, of course, you can... Uh, Take a look at these templates. Now Atlassian is talking about 40,000 plus customers use Confluence to rethink the way they work. Uh, and of course you have some use cases, some studies. So why Confluence? Break down team silos, turn conversation, conversations into action, organize everything in one place, build a culture of open teamwork. Then of course they're talking about few other things like enterprise grade security, and then you have the the, the information about uh, integration of Confluence with Jira, Trello, Slack, Office, Envision, Dropbox, Google Drive, Box, and of course more. And then you have the pricing information. So if you want to use Confluence, uh, you can definitely use it for free because uh, there is a free version as well. And uh, you can of course uh, evaluate if you want, or you can use a free version as long as you like. And I actually talked about uh, Confluence in uh, one of my video in January, not really that long ago. So you can always uh, watch this video. In this video description, I will put a link of this video. And I also recommend that you take a look at uh, Confluence by using a free version of uh, Confluence on the cloud. So this is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.